Okay, so I came across this film on Courtside Films, the YouTube channel, and I had to break down this kid's game. This kid's nickname is Baby Steve Nash. So let's get down. If you are a younger player, this is definitely a video that's going to help you improve your game. Let's get down. Let's check this out. Okay, so first off, watch his face and look at what he is doing when he is dribbling and passing the ball. So first off, he's dribbling towards that right side, and then he's able to cross over because his defender's momentum is taking him that way. That top foot is on that side, so that's a very smart move for a very young player. When he does this crossover, look at his eyes. He is scanning the court, looking for players to pass to. This is something that a lot of younger players don't necessarily do. They're usually looking down at the ball, and you really Really want to keep your head up to be able to see your surroundings and that's what this kid is doing he also then passes that ball underhand one hand to his teammate perfectly literally right in line with the guy's chest which is absolutely fantastic and that player is able to finish on that net so many young players will get caught up with passing the ball with two hands if you're able to pass the ball with one hand it's much faster and sometimes more accurate this kid also has a pretty good shot and has a really good eye on being able to take a shot. What I mean by that is a lot of young players will grab that ball way out here, which is like almost NBA range, and they'll jack up that shot, even though there's no player anywhere close to them. Baby Steve Nash is able to take that one dribble in to get that closer shot and he still has a lot of room between himself and his defenders so that he can get off that shot. He also shoots from his chest. It's more of a two-handed shot, but we can see that that palm is facing towards the right side, which means he's got no thumb flick. And yes, while he is pushing from his chest to be able to shoot from this distance, he's very accurate, and this is a great step into being able to become a stronger player in the future to be able to hit those shots with a higher release. So this kid's got a very nice base to build off of in the future. I really like what I'm seeing here as well. He's telling his players where to go. He's calling for a screen. He then uses that screen right there, and when he's coming off of the screen, he's scanning the court. His head is up. He's dribbling up to his waist so that he can push with a one-handed push pass if he needed to. He's dribbling nice and high, and he's able to gather, and his release is not bad. He's got that split finger release as we see here he has a slight thumb flick in this clip however when he's shooting this ball yes he's shooting from more in line with like a chest style push but when he's releasing he is still releasing very close to an inline shot when it comes to his shoulder and his elbow and probably within the next year he should be able to strengthen his upper body enough to be able to have almost perfect form which will and could raise his three-point shooting percentage and even have him shoot from farther away. And then in this clip here, he makes that very long baseball, baseball style pass to his teammate. And what he does next really does make me happy to see. And that is, he puts the goggles on. He likes the passes. He likes the assists. He's a very good player. He's going to be a very good player in the future. And again, still here, keeping his head up, looking for the cutters, and making those one-handed push passes to players who are cutting down the lane. He's also able to get steals, as in this clip right here. He's able to transition from defense to offense quite easily and seamlessly. He also leads the players with his pass. He's able to lead this player almost perfectly. That player had to reach back just slightly, but he was able to lead all these players with passes. And even this one's a no-look pass, knowing exactly where his teammate was. Fantastic. He gets that defensive rebound here, and as soon as he gets that ball and he starts to dribble up court, look at his face. He's looking for his teammates. He's looking to make plays. This is something that a lot of young players need to learn how to do, and he's even able to fake one-handed passes like this and get the, get the other team way up into the air. That's fantastic. And just overall, a very good young player, very good base to build off of, and I just, I just love the fact that he's keeping his head up. He's looking for his teammates to make those plays. Absolutely fantastic. This is something that a lot of players need to model their game around. So if you're a younger player, obviously dribble with your head up. It really opens up the game. It allows you to see things that you may not normally see if you got your head down. But also, being able to keep your head up allows you to see if you've got a good shot to take. You can see those passes, those passing lanes. Lead those players with the passes. You don't have to pass with two hands. If you're dribbling, you can make a quick 
quick one-handed push pass and it can really expand your game. I hope that this video has helped you. If it has, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.